I'm pretty sure somebody forgot to tell Tom Cruise and Jerry Burkheimer that sequels are not supposed to be as good as the original. So years after the original Top Gun movie, Maverick is still dealing with the loss and emotions of Goose until he gets called back to Top Gun to teach a class of previous graduates to fly a near impossible mission. Now, as a big fan of the original Top Gun, I had very high expectations for this movie, but I wasn't prepared for the emotional roller coaster that this movie sent me through. I felt that moments, I kid you not, at moments I thought I was going to cry. And then I laugh. And then I'm excited. I, I felt it all. Like this movie, you feel every emotion that Tom Cruise or Maverick is feeling. Especially with this uh, death of Goose and everything that he goes through. And this is what really pulls you into the movie and really gets you captivated with the film. Especially when he finds out that Goose's son, Rooster, is in the class that he's supposed to teach, fly this near impossible mission. So that throws a whole new dynamic into things. But that dynamic is so good. The dynamic between Maverick and Rooster and the motions between the two of them that involve not just themselves, but throwing in Goose in the mix, it's so good. But then you throw in all the other students in the class who are flying... And not one of these pilots feel like they took a back seat in the action. Like, normally there's a couple people up there that really take the forefront and all the, the attention goes to them. But I felt a connection with every single one of them. There wasn't one that I felt took a back seat. They all played a pretty major role. Now let's talk about the cinematics of this movie. Because this is where this movie shines. Tom Cruise and Jerry Burkheimer made probably the most incredible cinematic movie I have ever seen. The camera angles that they put you literally inside the jet. And you, I swore I felt G-forces in my seat. Like, I felt like I was getting sucked back in. Like, th that's how, how real this movie felt. The camera angles were amazing. And if you watch any of the behind-the-scenes stuff, you know they put a lot of effort into it and it paid off big time. Now, the original had some really good dogfighting footage and really was intense. This one takes it to a whole new level. Like, this really puts you in the middle of the dogfighting. And these visuals and what you see, like the pilots going through their facial expressions, it was so good. It was so good. Now, of course, there's always a love interest with Maverick. He's always got a girl. And this one... I understand the connection between Maverick and this new love interest and how she helps him get through these emotions. But me personally, I didn't really feel connection with this love interest of his. And I mean, she was played by Jennifer Connelly. And I'm not saying that Jennifer Connelly did a bad job because she did a good job. But I just didn't personally feel that connection. Now, there are a lot of nuances and a lot of kickbacks to the original, whether they be small or large. There are some that you're like very subtle that you got to look for. And there's other ones that are right there in your face. And we're just going to be like, look, throw back to the original. Here you go. And that actually works out really well. The, the fan service, as I'll call it, and the nostalgia that they throw back in there. Top notch. Very well done. So all I can say is the original Top Gun was in my top five favorite movies of all time. Now, I got to feel like I got to yank one of them out of the top five to put this one in there because this is an awesome movie. Now, if you're in the younger generation and didn't grow up with the original Top Gun, I feel like you can still watch this and piece together what happened in the original and it's not necessary to see it. But if you haven't seen it, one, what's wrong with you? This is a must-see movie. So if you have seen it, I just feel like you would appreciate this new one more. The dogfighting is intense. The cinematics are intense. The comedy is there. That works out. I, I had moments I was falling out of my chair laughing. The emotions run deep. Everything is there. They didn't miss a single thing in this movie. I would highly suggest to anyone out there... Go watch this movie. If you have, 
Do me a favor, drop your comments down below what you thought of it. Also drop your like on the video if you made it this far. I do greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.